Hello friends through this video we will learn the details about the doors and windows in systematic manner. If you like the video please do share it and subscribe the channel. Door A door is a movable barrier secured in a wall opening. Functions 1. They admit ventilation and light. 2. Controls the physical atmosphere within a space by enclosing it. Excluding air drafts, so that interiors may be more effectively heated or cooled. 3. They act as a barrier to noise. 4. Used to screen areas of a building for aesthetic purposes. Keeping formal and utility areas separate. Location of door in a building. The number should be kept as minimum. It should meet the functional requirement. It should preferably be located at the corner of the room, nearly 20 cm from corner. If in a room, more than two doors are there, they shall be located facing each other. Components of door and door frame Door shutter Sizes of doors Designation of doors Door frames Materials used for door frames Timber Steel Aluminium Concrete Stone Timber door frame General specifications Timber is sawn in the direction of grains All members of frames are of same species of timber and be straight without any warp The frames are smooth well plain surfaces except the surface touching wall lintel sill etc. The thickness of rebate is 15 mm and the width is equal to the thickness of shutter. Nominal size of door frame for single shutter is 75 x 100 mm and for double shutter 75 x 125 mm. The back portion of door frame which in contact with walls, lintel sill etc. is painted with bitumen or any anti-termite chemical. To protect door frame during construction priming coat is done before fixing. A minimum of three hold fasts shall be fixed on each side, one at the center and the other two at 300 mm from top and bottom of the frame. Hold fasts and other parts, which go into the masonry wall and thus not accessible for maintenance, shall be protected against moisture and decay, with a coating of coal tar or other suitable protective material. Types of doors On the basis of working operations Hinged doors Batten type Framed and paneled Glazed slash sash Flushed Louvered Wire gauge Revolving doors Sliding doors Swing doors Collapsible doors Rolling shutter Hinged doors Most doors are hinged along one side to allow the door to pivot away from the doorway in one direction but not in the other. The axis of rotation is usually vertical. The most common door type It is a simple and rigid The panel swings, opens, and closes, on hinges Hinged doors require a minimum amount of maintenance and cleaning, they are not expensive, and have an excellent insulating ability. However, they take up precious room space to swing in. Battened and ledged door The door consists of vertical boards i.e. battens and three or four horizontal ledges. The vertical boards are tongue and grooved to stop drafts and the edges chamfered to relieve the plain appearance. Battens 100 to 150 mm wide and 20 to 30 mm thick. Ledges, 200 mm wide and 25, 30 mm thick. The door is hung to the frame by T hinges of iron. The door is commonly used for narrow openings for internal use where it is not subject to hard use, or where economy is of main consideration than the appearance. The framework consists of vertical styles, three ledges, and two inclined braces. 
the braces are normally housed into the rails at about 40 mm from the styles. The thickness of the styles and top rail is same which is equal to the thickness of braces and battens. This type is suitable for external door and door subjected to rough handling. Framed and paneled door These types of doors are widely used in all types of buildings since they are strong and give better appearance than battened doors. Panel doors consist of vertical members called styles and horizontal members called rails. Styles and rails form the framework into which panels are inserted. Panels may be solid wood, plywood, particle board or louvered or have glass inserts. Additional vertical members called mullions are used to divide the door into any number of panels. Panel door, consists of wood panels held in place by wood styles and rails panels and can be made from solid wood, plywood, metal, or glass. They consist of two vertical styles and horizontal rails enclosing the panels. The panels could be made of plywood, solid timber, or glass. The more expensive type of glass panel door is fitted to the frame first and then the glass panels are added individually, this makes the door lighter to handle when hanging and cheaper to replace if the glass gets broken. Depending on the location and usage of the door, putty and beading may be used, but if the door has a wood finish, beading alone will suffice. Silicone sealants are also available in a variety of finishes. The lock rail is so placed that its center is at a height of 800 to 900 millimeters from the bottom of the shutter. In case of timber panels, the minimum size of the panel shall be 150 x 15 mm, while maximum R shall be 0.5 square m. In case of plywood, there is no restriction on minimum and maximum size. However, the thickness shall be at least 12 mm if single paneled and 10 mm for more panels. Glazed or sash door this type is used in residential and public buildings. They supplement the natural lighting provided by windows or to make the interior of the room visible from adjoining rooms. They can be made fully glazed or partly glazed. Fully glazed doors are recommended where sufficient light is required through the door openings like in shopping malls, entrance halls etc. In case of partly glazed, the bottom one-third RD part is usually paneled and upper two-thirds part is glazed. Flush door Flush doors are simply doors with a completely flat surface on both sides. Flush doors can come in solid format which is a door made of solid wood or hollow format which is lightweight and comprised of two layers of thin timber separated, usually, by a lightweight honeycomb core. The core is covered with either hardboard or plywood on both sides. Solid flush doors are usually used as fire check doors. Flush doors are lighter and cheaper than other types. The flush door shutters are manufactured in standard thickness of 25, 30, 35, and 40 mm. Types Solid core flush door, Hollow core. Cellular core. Solid core door consists of the framework of vertical styles and top rail and bottom rail. The core consists of wooden strips, with not more than 25 mm, glued together under high pressure or blockboard or particle board. Plywood sheet slash crossband slash face veneers are glued under high pressure to the assembly of core on both faces. Such doors are quite strong but heavy and require more material. Solid core doors provide better sound insulation and have less tendency to warp. Hollow core The frame consists of styles, top rail, bottom rail, and two intermediate rails, not less than 75 mm in width. The space between the styles and rails is filled by equally spaced battens each of minimum width 25 mm, such that voids are equally distributed and limited to 0.5 square m. Plywood slash veneers and cross bands can be glued from both sides. The thickness of plywood should not be less than 6 mm. Cellular core 
The frame is made up of styles and top and bottom rail. The space is filled with closely spaced battens of minimum 25 mm width such that the void area does not exceed 0.25 square m. Thus, the total area of voids should not exceed 40% of the area of the shutter. Louvered Doors A louvered door has fixed or movable wooden louvers which permit open ventilation while preserving privacy and preventing the passage of light to the interior. They are most commonly used for bath and WC. In residential and public buildings, where good ventilation is desired. The door may be louvered to its full height or may be partly louvered and partly paneled. The louvers are arranged in inclined fashion thus obstructs the vision but permits entry of air. Louvers may be fixed or movable. Louvers may be of timber, plywood, or glass. However, they are difficult to clean. Revolving doors. Such types are provided in public buildings, like banks, museums, hotels, offices etc. A revolving door normally has four wings slash leaves that hang on a center shaft and rotate one way about a vertical axis within a round enclosure. The central shaft is fitted with ball bearing arrangement at the bottom, which allows the shutters to move without any jerk and making noise. The radiating shutters may be fully paneled, fully glazed, or partly glazed. The glass doors allow people to see and anticipate each other while walking through. Vertical rubber pieces are provided at the rubbing end of the shutter to prevent drought of air. People can walk out of and into the building at the same time. The door closes automatically when not in use. Revolving doors are energy efficient by eliminating drafts, thus reducing the heating or cooling required for the building. The door may be motorized, or pushed manually using push bars. Revolving doors therefore create a good seal from the outside and help to reduce A C and heating costs for climate control from the building. Revolving doors typically have a speed control to prevent people from spinning the doors too fast. Sliding Doors In these doors, the shutters slide horizontally along tracks with the help of runners and rails. Often for space or Sliding glass doors are common in places where there is no space to swing the door. Such doors are very popular for use for the entrances to commercial structures and also in residential buildings for aesthetic considerations. Sliding doors consist of either one, two, or three doors that slide by each other on a track depending upon the size of opening and space available for sliding. They are pretty easily cleaned and maintained. These doors sound insulation is pretty poor usually, and they must be of high quality and fitted exactly in their tracks or else they may slide out of them. When fully open these doors will allow half the space of the opening in double sliding doors, or one-third if triple. Sliding doors move along metal, wood, or vinyl tracks fitted into their frames at the top and bottom. To ease their movement, sliding doors often have plastic rollers attached to the top and bottom or to the bottom only. The door is hung by two trolley hangers at the top of the door running in a concealed track while at the bottom, rollers are provided to slide the shutter in a channel track. Swing doors. The shutter is fitted to its frame by special double action hinges. The hinges permits the shutter to move both ways, inward as well as outward. The doors are not rebate at the meeting styles. To open the door, a slight push is made and the spring action brings the shutter in closed position. The return of the shutter is with force and thus, the door shall be either fully glazed or provided with a peep hole at eye level to avoid accidents. Folded doors. Made of many narrow vertical strips or creases that fold back to back into a compact bundle when doors are pushed open, these strips or creases will be hanged from the top, and run on a track. They save space as they do not swing out of the door opening, though their sound and weather isolation is poor. Folding doors are usually pretty noisy, and considered not so durable. Collapsible door. Such doors are used in garages, workshops, 
public buildings etc. to provide increased safety and protection to property. The doors do not require hinges to close or open the shutter nor the frame to hang them. It acts like a steel curtain. The door is made up from vertical double channels. 20x10x2mm, jointed together with the hollows on the inside to create a vertical gap. These channels are spaced at 100 to 120 mm apart and braced with diagonal iron flats. These diagonals allow the shutter to open or closed. The shutter operate between two rails, one fixed to the floor and other to the lintel. Rollers are mounted at the top and bottom. Rolling shutter. These are commonly used for shops, go-downs, stores etc. The door shutter acts like a curtain and thus provides adequate protection and safety against fire and thefts. The shutter is made up of thin steel slabs called laths or slates about 1.25 mm thick interlocked to each other and coiled upon specially designed pipe shaft called drum mounted at the top. The shutter moves in two vertical steel guide channels installed at their ends. The channel is made up of steel sheets and deep enough to accommodate the shutter and to keep it in position. A horizontal shaft and spring in the drum which allow the shutter to coiled in or out. These may be manually operated for smaller openings, up to 10 square m. Above 10 square m, they may be operated manually. Now see details regarding windows. Component parts. Types of windows. Fixed windows. In this type, the glass pane is permanently fixed in the opening of the wall. The shutter can't be opened or closed. The function is limited to allowing light and or permit vision in the room. No rebates are provided to the frame. The shutters are fully glazed. In homes they are generally decorative windows near doors, stairwells, and high places or are used in combination with other styles. Pivoted windows. In this type of window, the shutter is capable of rotating about a pivot fixed to window frame. The frame has no rebate. The shutter can swing horizontally or vertically. Double hung windows. It has two panes, top and bottom that slide up and down in tracks called styles. The most common used windows today. When open, these windows allow air flow through half of its size. The two parts are not necessarily the same size. Traditionally, each shutter is provided with a pair of counterweights connected by cord or chain over pulleys. When the weights are pulled, the shutters open to required level. It is possible to have controlled ventilation. Sash windows may be fitted with simplex hinges which allow the window to be locked into hinges on one side, while the rope on the other side is detached, allowing the window to be opened for escape or cleaning. Nowadays, most new double-hung sash windows use spring balances to support the sashes. Special frames called boxed or cased frame is used, which consists of two vertical members spaced apart to create a groove to slide the shutter. A parting bead is provided in the groove of the frame to keep the two shutters apart. Only the bottom sash slides upward in a single-hung window. In single-hung windows the top sash is fixed and can't be moved. Sliding window or slider. Has two or more sashes that overlap slightly but slide horizontally within the frame. Suitable openings or grooves are left in the frame or wall to accommodate the shutters when our shutters are opened. Casement windows are hinged at the sides. When fully opened, offer the maximum amount of ventilation. Operates like a hinged door, except that it opens and closes with a lever inside the window. The shutter consists of styles, top rail, bottom rail, and intermediate rail. Depending upon the design, the frame can have additional vertical and horizontal members i.e. mullion and transom respectively. The panels may be either glazed, unglazed, or partly glazed and are fixed in the grooves made in rails and styles. Glazed window 
This is a type of casement window where panels are fully glazed. The frame has styles, top rail, and a bottom rail. The space between top and bottom rail is divided into number of panels with small timber members called, sash bars or glazing bars. The glass panels are cut 1.5 to 3.0 mm smaller in size than the panel size to permit movement of sash bars. Glass panes are fixed to sash bars by putty or by timber beads. Louvered window. They are provided for the sole function of ventilation and not for the vision outside. The styles are grooved to receive a series of louvers which may be of glass or wood slates. The louvers re usually fixed at 450 inclination sloping downward to the outside to run off the rain water. The windows provide light and ventilation even if closed. Such windows are recommended for bath, WC, workshops etc., where privacy is more important. Venetian shutters uses louvers which can be opened or closed. The louvers are pivoted at both ends in the frame and in addition each blade is connected to a vertical batten by hinge. Metal windows. These are very popular in public buildings and can be made up of mild steel, stainless steel, aluminium, bronze etc. Mill steel being cheapest of all, they are widely used. The windows can be fabricated for the required size using light rolled steel sections. They can be fixed directly to the wall opening in a wooden frame or in the steel frame. While fixing, care has to be taken that the members of the frame are not subjected to any structural loads to prevent damage. Thus, the size of the window opening is kept slightly more than the frame size so as to allow some clearance between the two. The window is fixed into the opening only after masonry and lintel work is over and fully set. Advantages 1. They are more stronger and durable as compared to wooden windows. 2. They are not subjected to expansion and contraction of joints. 3. They are rot-proof, termite-proof. 4. Highly fire-resistant. 5. Presents better elegance and smooth finishing. 6. Provide more area for light and ventilation. 7. The cost of maintenance is negligible and thus proves economical. Bay window. The window projecting outward from the external walls. Wide and decoratively impressive allow for 180 view. A multi-panel window, with at least three panels set at different angles to create an extension from the wall line. It is commonly used in cold country where snow often falls. They may be triangular, circular, rectangular, or polygonal in plan. Clear story window. These are provided to permit light and ventilation to a room having more height than the adjoining rooms or when the ventilation is restricted. Generally provided near the top of main roof and they open above the slab of adjoining rooms. The shutters are generally pivoted at center. The shutter can be opened or closed by means of two cords, each attached to the rails of the shutter. The shutter must swing in such a way that the upper part opens inside the room and lower part opens outside, to exclude rain water. Corner window. These are provided at the corner of the room. Light and air is admitted from two directions. The jam post at the corner is made of heavy section. Dormer window and gable window The windows provided at the dormer end and gable end of the sloping roof to provide light and ventilation to the enclosed space below the roof. Skylight. These are fixed windows on the sloping roofs. Admit natural light and help distribute light more evenly throughout the room. Considered an energy saver feature. In addition to reducing the need to use electric lights, it can deliver warmth in the winter and cooling in the summer, minimizing the need for fuel-based heating and air conditioning. On winter days, 
the sun's radiant energy can shine through a south or west facing skylight to warm interior surfaces. And in the summer, a ventilating skylight can promote air circulation by releasing the warm air that naturally rises. The opening for the window is made by cutting common rafters. The framework consists of trimming pieces, curb frames, bottom rail, and top rail. The opening is treated with lead flashings to ensure waterproofing. Skylights may be plastic or glass, fixed or operable, and made in any number of sizes and styles. Fan lights, the small window or ventilator fitted above the door or window frame separated by transom. The function is to ensure cross ventilation in the room even if the door or windows are closed. They also assist in admitting natural light. Ventilator, it is a narrow window of small height fitted near the roof of a room for ventilation. The construction is similar to the fan lights. They are horizontally pivoted. Thanks for watching the video if you like it please do share it and subscribe the channel.